Welcome to Griffin Park, where tonight Brentford find themselves 90 minutes away from Europe. As if playing in the first division wasn't enough, should Brentford avoid defeat in the match tonight against Oxford United in the preliminary round of the Anglo-Italian tournament, Brentford will find themselves in the first round proper when they'll have the opportunity to play against four teams from the Italian first division. But when, it looks, when you look at the team news, Brentford today are really looking at use, utilising the whole squad. Bob Booker, Terry Evans, Graham Benstead, Murray Jones, Mickey Bennett and Detsy Krasinski are injured. Chris Hewton, Simon Ratcliffe and Jamie Bates all play, although they're carrying injuries. Marcus Gale is similarly injured, but has to be on the substitutes bench. So there are places tonight for Billy Manuel, who will fill Krasinski's ball-winning role in midfield, and Kevin Godfrey, who will form the spearhead with Gary Blissett. Paul Buckle makes the substitutes bench for the first time this season, but there is no place for promising Channel Islander Grant Chalmers, who was in the original 15. Oxford United must win. It's as simple as that. Now, you need a degree in differential calculus to work out the permutations tonight, but what it really comes, comes down to is that Oxford must win by about three goals to nil or more to actually go through tonight. Their team tonight is missing highly rated midfielder Jim Magilton, and there's a, there's a place tonight for John Narbutt, signed in the close season from Hereford United. But anyway, the prospect of Brentford in Europe is an exciting one as Oxford get us underway, knowing they have to win tonight to have any chance at all of progressing. Jerry Payton looked very solid last Saturday. Looking for Blissett. Away from Evans. Joey Beecham. To Smiley. Godfrey. Oh, and Blissett got in there after Godfrey laid the ball back and volleyed it first time just over the bar. Good interchange there between Smiley, Godfrey and Blissett as Brentford seek the early goal. Away from Ratcliffe. Emmanuel only gets it back to Narbutt. Les Phillips. Not far wide. And that's given the Oxford fans something to cheer about. Down the line, Blissett. Ratcliffe. And the ball took a deflection off Kevin Godfrey. Forced Key to change direction quite hurriedly. But unfortunately the deflection took some of the pace off and the sting off the ball. The keeper saved comfortably. Term in play from Ratcliffe. Phillips gets the ball out to Smart. Dangerous on the overlap. John Narbutt. Nicky Lewis. Dernin. Oh, inside Bates. And wide. That was a real chance for Oxford. Dernin skinned his man, left Bates for dead. And just on the half hour, curl the ball beyond Jerry Payton but also wide of the post. Smart not living up to his name by pinching at least five yards, or trying to. Now the ball in the right place. And the ball headed on from Evans to Melville. Jerry Payton forced to turn the ball over the bar with both hands. So Oxford had two chances in the last couple of minutes. Good play from Les Phillips. Tigerish there. That's it. 
lovely cross. And Lee Luscombe dived in. It was only a foot past the post. That's the best effort on goal from Brentford so far. Blissett brought the ball under control, looked up, saw that Luscombe was coming in, and he measured his cross, and the youngster's header had the keeper well beaten and was just passed. That would have been a great goal. Now offside. And also no midfield there, but Blissett won it. Filling onto his left foot. But Evans read it before Goffrey. Durnin is through. And Peyton just got a touch. Really, that seems to come from nothing. Evans is hoik forward, but Durnin almost turned it into a goal. Goffrey makes a run for near post. Headed away. Good ball from Hewton to Bates. And Luscombe just wide. And a free header from six yards. And it was just past the post, and he might have done better. Put in short for Bates. A lot of height, but no distance whatsoever. Manuel finds Hewton. But Luscombe outside him. But Hewton onto his right foot. And he nearly spilt it. Straight at the keeper. Brentford so far just doing enough to hold on. Nil-nil, we'll get them into the next round. And Emmanuel heads it away. Luscombe found perhaps by Godfrey. Great save, and another great save, a wonderful goalkeeping there, as Godfrey followed up. Well, Paul Key earned his corn there. A good save from Luscombe, as he was found well. He brought the ball under control, hit it quickly, and Key got down well to his left. But it seemed a certain goal as Kevin Godfrey came in for the rebound. Well, Brentford have only kept clean sheets this season against Fulham twice and Leicester City. That's a good ball from Godfrey. And Ratcliffe has scored. Well, Godfrey turned. A lovely ball to Simon Ratcliffe, who for the second game running has opened the scoring. So, 28 minutes into the second half. 73 minutes gone. Brentford 1, Oxford United 0. Gale. Too hard for the keeper to hold. And away off Blissett, from Blissett off Smiley's head. That was a fine effort from Ratcliffe. Now looking for Blissett from Millen. So come away. And Goffrey's won it. Blissett has scored! A fine goal for Brentford. Mistake in the centre of the Oxford defence. The ball out to Kevin Godfrey. He slid in a low centre. And Gary Blissett was there on the six-yard line to knock the ball over the line for his seventh goal of the season. Buckle should hit that up down the line. It does. 
Melville under pressure. Back to his goalkeeper. <laughs> minute now into injury time. Mr. Wilkes looking at his watch. Can't be much time now. And there, in fact, goes the final whistle. A good second half performance from Brentford. The final score, Brentford 2, Oxford United 0.